But I had all this debt, guys. Credit card debt, the, the house debt. I was racking debt up like crazy. I was a, one of those guys that was a fake baller out there. I had the Lexus uh, that I put on a credit card. And I lost my good job. And that's when the house of cards of debt came tumbling down. <laughs> I was able to pay off all my debt. And I was 100% debt free i pay cash for my bikes my house is 100 percent paid for you know in a previous video i told you guys the importance of living 100 percent debt free and how i'm 100 percent debt free and been that way since 2006 and how that's really helping me right now i have all of my stuff is paid for so basically i'm just paying taxes and uh you know utility bills and stuff like that uh but that's a lot better than having to pay a mortgage, car payments, etc. But a lot of you guys ask me, you said, Psycho Cruiser, tell us how you became debt free. How did you do it? Not only am I going to tell you how I got out of debt, but I'm going to tell you how you can get out of debt too and buy a house with cash paid in full. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> subscribe today make sure you're wearing the full gear i have this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe boots all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my video these are very difficult times you know i'm not gonna put myself up on a perch and act like i'm i'm a, a better than a lot of you guys because i'm 100 percent debt free i wasn't always like that guys <laughs> I was like a lot of you guys out there. I, I racked up a lot of debt in the past, man. I tell you, I racked up close to $80,000 in debt in the past. <laughs> and that's not house debt or anything. That's credit card debt, man. Um, and I had house, I had a mortgage in the past too, man. I, I was a, one of those guys that was... Uh, a fake baller out there. I had the Lexus uh, that I put on a credit card for $10,000 cash. I bought it. A lot of people didn't know I had a hundred. I had 160, like 150,000 miles <laughs> on that car when I bought it. I got it because I wanted to look like I was, uh, you know, like I was doing well. You know, I was a baller. I had the Lexus, put some wheels on there, riding around. Yeah. <laughs> I had, uh, you know, the latest Jordans out, and uh, people thought, like, dang, you're doing it, boy. You're doing it. You're doing, <laughs> doing good. And I had a bum job. I had a crappy job. I worked in a call center making, like, $12 an hour. Uh, like I told you, a baller on a budget, man, racking up crazy debt. Just, and a lot of people do that, and it's so stupid, man, but... It got to the point, you know, I went out to Colorado. I actually um, got a better, got a good job. I got promoted. I was working with uh, T-Mobile back then. I got a management job out in Colorado. First thing I did, I didn't pay off my credit card debt. I bought a house to add more debt, get into more debt. Bought it for $120,000, which, by the way, that house is worth almost $300,000 right now. <laughs> because the uh, the housing prices went up big time out in Colorado because they legalized weed for recreational use out there and everybody in their weed head brother moved out there and uh, the, the cost of living skyrocketed up there. I wish I'd have kept my house, man, longer than I did. But I had all this debt, guys. Credit card debt, the, the house debt. I mean, we were going on trips every weekend blowing all kinds of money staying at bed and breakfasts and and uh cabins by the mountains and we had a good time man but i was racking debt up like crazy and then um i got my my uh fiance at the time uh, a job where i worked and she started some drama up in there and uh they ended up firing both of us man and i lost my good job and that's when the house of cards of debt came tumbling down. <laughs> $80,000 of debt, man. And the house, I couldn't pay the house anymore. I couldn't get another good job. 
uh, was working call center work making like $12 an hour or something like that because I couldn't get any other type of jobs that were paying any good and uh, but and then I went to Ohio I, I moved back home to Ohio and got an apartment out in Ohio and I did get a good job a good job with Ohio Savings in the brokerage department in downtown Cleveland and I just left my house in Colorado, man. I was just gonna let it go, get foreclosed on, and just my credit go to absolute crap. <laughs> and uh, and while I was working downtown at that bank, I said, you know what, man? I could turn this all around. I have, why don't I go back out to Colorado, fix that house up, sell it, make a profit, you know, pay off my debt, and, and get back on track. And that's exactly what I did. I quit my job at Ohio Savings, went back there, um, fixed the house up, sold it, and I made a really absolutely fantastic profit on that house. I was able to pay off all my debt, and I was 100% debt free. I didn't have no debt whatsoever. And I said, you know what? I don't want to live like that anymore. I don't want to have to to, to worry about having to, you know, if I lose my job, have to worry about my car getting repoed or losing my house. I said, you know what, from now on, from here on out, I'm living well below my means. I'm paying for stuff 100% in full, pay my credit card statements 100% full every month. And uh, I changed my mindset, guys. At that point going forward, um, I never got in debt ever again. It's back in 2006. I haven't gone back. I have not had a single cent of debt since. I'm not trying to be a baller anymore out here with the fancy cars. And I saved up. I paid cash for my bikes. I paid, you know, cash. My house is 100% paid for. A lot of you guys say, Cycle Cruiser, I can't pay cash for no house. That's crazy. You're talking crazy. Who could pay over a hundred some thousand, two hundred thousand cash for a house? Let me tell you this, guys. Let me let me tell you this. You can buy awesome houses that are being uh, foreclosed on from the bank at cash-only auctions for cheap. I was getting ready to buy another house, man, uh, about a couple of years ago, as an investment to fix up and, and resell. $50,000 it closed at the auction. I was on the computer getting ready to hit buy on the auction, but I didn't have time because I was taking, I was caring for my grandmother who had dementia. She recently passed away back in December, which I told you guys about, but I was taking care. I didn't really have time, but I wanted to buy this house. $50,000. The person that bought it, $50,000 he paid for it. He put $10,000 into it. And he flipped it for hundred and eighty thousand dollars, man. And I knew he, I knew there was money to be made with that house. Here's the house right here, guys. Right here, fifty thousand dollars. Guy put ten thousand dollars into it, man. Sold it for hundred eighty thousand bucks. Ah, oh, I'm kicking myself in the butt. See, that's a nice house. See, in a nice neighborhood here in Berea, Ohio. Suburbs, excellent school district. Man. But there's a lot of deals out there like that, guys. Where you can buy the house for cheap, instant equity, and you can work on it on the weekends or whenever you want to, whenever you have a little bit of extra money to put into the house, live in it for a couple of years, and then you can sell it and uh, you don't have to pay any tax on it because you lived in the house for two years. And uh, and then you got, it's, you'll have a ton of extra money. Then you can buy another better house if you want to or, uh, or do whatever you want to do. And I believe anybody can save up $50,000. That's not, it, it's not a lot of money, man. If you work hard, you live well below your means and you save your money, you can easily save 50,000 bucks. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of great houses you can buy at cash-only auctions for that price and cheaper, man. 
you'd be surprised telling you as far as cars motorcycles never buy them new man uh, now with motorcycles you can get really sick deals on leftover new bikes that's why I get new bikes um, they're, they're usually left over new. This is the only bike I bought brand spanking new um, But I just did it because I wanted this bike, but normally you save thousands by buying a leftover new or used motorcycle uh, Same with cars man um, You can pick up really awesome cars at auctions if you know a buddy that's got an auction license or whatnot um, Have them, you know find a great deal for you, you can save a lot of money that way man um, cash is king guys you know it really is and I tell you it's really beautiful being a hundred percent debt free man it's it's very freeing I don't never want to go back in debt I it's horrible having that debt over hanging over your head and having to worry about you know you losing your job and you being a, having to pay that debt and can't figure out how to do it you know so and that's what a lot of you guys are dealing with right now is you're having a tough time trying to figure out how in the heck you're going to pay your bills when you've got no income coming in. A lot of you file for unemployment. That'll probably take forever to come in and you're not going to make a lot of money with unemployment. You know, if you do get unemployment, try to try to downgrade the way you live right now. Like maybe you didn't think about getting into the trailer park. <laughs> I mean, that's not... Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. That's gonna help save you some money, and uh, and that way you can put some extra money away and help pay down that debt and, and become debt free or save up some money um, for that house you want to buy. You know, when the economy picks back up, you'll probably get an even better job. So keep your head up, guys. And if you don't have a motorcycle, you can get a really sick deal on a motorcycle right now. Um, they're practically giving motorcycles away right now. So there you go. I was just like a lot of you guys out there, but I turned my life around. You have to change your way of thinking. You can't get the latest and greatest stuff anymore. Uh, make stuff last. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I buy clothes uh, at the, like Marshalls to save money, and I wear I wear them until I get holes in them, man. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not trying to be fashionable out here. I'm trying to save some money. And stay 100% debt free. And you can too. But anyways. Leave a comment below. Let's talk about it guys. That's why I do these videos. Uh, hopefully this video will help motivate you. To be 100% debt free. Uh, so that way you can better weather these horrible times. Don't forget to subscribe to my All Over Motorcycle channel. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.